Happy day friends, on the way to the doctor to get little baby boy checked out. I guess you guys know his name now. Like we haven't officially released it in real time, but when this posts, you guys will know his name is Lucas. I will start calling him Lucas, but it's been habit to call him baby boy because throughout the whole pregnancy, we didn't know until almost 48 hours until after he was born what his name was gonna be. Um, I've known the last five years. Austin thinks he's known the last five years, and I think he just <laughs> planted seeds the last five years for the day that we eventually might have a boy, and he got his way, as always. No, but I do, I do love his name, Lucas Vaughn. Um, I think it's very fitting. He looks like a Lucas to me, um, and so it, it fits. Austin just knew. He was one of these. One of these. Hey, I really like Ezra. We should name him Ezra. Lucas! Oh my gosh. Get your hands on the wheel. But we're taking him to his first doctor's appointment. It's been five days since he's been born, maybe four. I, I don't know. It's a blur. A little bit of a blur. Um, the days don't really matter. But doctor wanted to check him out. Um, his bilirubin levels for jaundice is what it's more commonly known as. Um, they were right on the borderline of needing treatment. And I think he has gotten a little bit yellow over the last couple days. So I'm glad we had this appointment scheduled to just get him checked out. I did put him in the sun yesterday because uh, I was told, yeah, put him in the sun next to a window, flip him over after 10 minutes. And I felt like a total dip. Do that. If you know what I, I mean. Indirect sunlight is what you should do, not direct right through your window, which. Not in direct it, sunlight. Not in direct sunlight, but indirect sunlight. Um, the sun was like blasting on him. He loved it. He loves being warm because he normally runs cold. I thought for a moment that I gave our baby. A really bad sunburn. <laughs> Turns out he was just warm, um, no sunburn in sight. I felt so bad for a moment when I realized what I had done. But he's looking good, he's happy, he eats well, he sleeps all day long for the most part, you know, like for an hour every day, maybe, maybe an hour here, an hour there, he'll be awake looking around and it's so fun. He was just staring at Austin and I last night and it was so sweet. But on another note, so this is something I'll probably go more into after the doctor's appointment, but they did x-rays on his chest to look at his heart. We're hoping that there's no real concerns. Um, I will go into that more after we talk to the doctor, after we get more information, but we're gonna take a look at those x-rays today. My mom, heart and mom brain right now and with all the hormone shifting like I can't help but worry a little bit that something might be off I don't want to say wrong um, because he seems very healthy all of his other testing came back totally fine um, he seems like he's doing well but gosh with all the hormone shifting every every so often I catch myself just tearing up that something might be off with our little boy but we're gonna hopefully get more answers today get it figured out um, and see what's going on but he's a happy little guy he is and he's so sweet you guys he is so so sweet hi little bud you look so tiny in your car seat you are so tiny we'll see how much you weigh today hopefully you're getting back up to that birth weight huh? you've been drinking a lot of milk so I know you're I know you're working your way back up. Yeah. Oh yeah, I know, you get so cold. I know. Hey, that's okay. I don't know. Born six ten. Mm -hmm. Think he's back? I'm guessing he's seven one. I don't think he's gonna be quite He's back. been eating good. Let's see. That's okay. Let's see. Uh -huh. Alright. Oh, 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 I busted. A little small head. <laughs> Definitely smaller than our other babies. Well, how big was it? 13. Definitely been growing back up to birth weight, which is good. Means uh, milk is doing its job. Oh, yeah, He's eating good. enough. That's great. He is doing great. I'm doing good, bud. 
Look at that hair. I love this hair so much. <laughs> I do. Cause for concern? Yeah, am I the dad? <laughs> it went from, I told Austin the other day, it went from Luke, I am your father, to Luke, am I your father? <laughs> Don't worry, bud. I don't really think it. No, we I don't, don't really think it. Not that anybody really cares, but I'm doing really good. You, <laughs> I'm just kidding. We there's, all care. I know, and there's been so many people like specifically asking, like, Jess, how are you doing? Because postpartum is, like, it's tough for a lot of women, myself included. Um, but this time around, since I did not tear, which I am so grateful for, I am feeling so good. I expected my recovery to be so much harder simply because I thought I was going to tear again and I didn't and I'm able to move around and honestly I think I'm doing a little bit too much um, because I am feeling so good. Uh, he's been sleeping okay through the night like I have to get up three or four times to feed him but as of now, oh man, he's really chill and he doesn't cry a lot. And he's easy to please. Mm -hmm. Oh no! Just has to stay warm. He just needs to stay warm and stay fed, and and, and so he's pretty far much those, like this. Those things are are great. Um, so I'm doing really good. I'm a little bit tired, which is expected, and my boobs really hurt, which is expected. They're ginormous. My milk, my milk <laughs> always comes in so strong. Um, but but I'm feeling really good. So thank you guys for asking and being concerned about me as well. <laughs> but we're all doing good and the girls they have their own way of like showing him love Micah just wants to hold him and cuddle him and in fact this morning she came in when I was feeding him and she's like mom can I hold him I said yeah let me finish feeding him and you can sit on my, my big chair and hold him and she just held him and loved every minute of it while I got myself ready and Austin started getting himself ready so she's like our little babysitter and it was like so wonderful. And Paige wants to play with him. She every time she wakes up, she'll ask, "Is the babysitter still here? Where's the baby?" And she wants to go see him. She hasn't held him yet, um, but she'll occasionally pat his head and give him a kiss on the head. And she likes to find toys for him. And she the other day, she said, "Let's build a tower so he can see it when he wakes up." <laughs> so she's like very much the. Wants to like entertain him and show him things, and Aww. Michael wants to be the cuddler and caretaker. The affectionate so one. It's very sweet to see each of their different personalities come out, and even caring for him. So, yeah. So it's been good. Honestly, it just makes me happy to see them love him so much. That is like the biggest cause of concern that I had was them not getting jealous and them not liking baby or having issues. But right from the get go. As you guys all saw in the previous vlog, they just took to him instantly and just loved him. And I, I do expect that eventually there will be some like jealousy and big emotions, um, but the underlying theme is that they're happy that he's here, which is yeah, good. perfect. Yeah, want check your belly? Want check your shoulders? Check your head. A little birthmarky stuff there across his eyelid. Mm -hmm. That'll all fade out. And I think we're fine on this yellow nest. Maybe. On his yellow? Yeah. Okay. Austin says, you don't want to show them your artillery? <laughs> and Austin gets to do the first bottle. Oh my Fresh gosh. from the tap. Look at these things. Don't, don't, no, put them down right now. <laughs> that is liquid gold. I will not have Mick Spilsy's brother even. <laughs> hey, I don't spill. Kenzie took the <laughs> honor of getting all that skill. That is true. Right here. Oh, like a pro. Is he drinking it? Oh, like a pro. We don't here. even have to worry. Turn this part up so that the air can flow through that thing. So oh, it I didn't know that in all the last four years. I didn't know that. Yeah, that's, that's how that works. The more you know. Oh, boy. You eating like a pro. Good job, bud. You eating like a real mollus. <laughs> no waiting, just eating. <laughs> Hello, like no, Mr. Lucas. Are you milk drunky drunk? Are you milk drunky drunk? 
He had half an ounce almost. Already? Wow, you yeah. do fast just like mom. <laughs> Gobble, 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 gobble. <laughs> wakey, wakey. Wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. <laughs> eggs and bacon, where? Boop, 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 boop. Are you snuggling, brother? Oh, that's Aww. cute. So sweet. You're we the love best. Him so much. You're the best snuggler. You're like a sniffler. <laughs> Is a sniffler a snuggler? Thank you. Do they like to snuggle? Like yeah. Or push. push. Puff, puff skein? Puff Do puff skein like, like, like to they snuggle? They look like they'd be a good snuggler too. Yeah. Puff Aww. skein. So sweet. Oh my goodness. Look what's happening here. Baby There's Paige so has requested to hold baby Lucas. What do you think? Do you love holding him? Oh. oh. oh so gentle. Mom, I want to get baby some milk. You want to give him some milk? Do you want to try? Okay, let me go get him. Oh my word, this is the cutest thing ever. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's so cute, he loves you, look at him. Want me to feel his hair again? Okay, I'll feel his hair again. It's so soft. Look yeah, at him. it is. Teaching me, how to, <laughs> teaching me how to rub the baby's head, thank you. I'm most excited about this. Oh. Can I turn his head around a little bit for you? I'm gonna try to give him. And you want to try to give him his little bit of milk here? Let's push this up under so his head won't fall back. Know how? To be gentle, see if he'll get it. Am I in the way? I'll no, you're good. good. Let me show you something. Uh, Grandma can tilt help it, you. Tilt it. It's, like touch over here for a second. I didn't warm it up. So and touch over here for a little I bit don't know and watch him start see. opening his mouth. I was just He's trying like, to be fast. Hungry. You hold it, Paige. You're doing it. Good job, Paige. That's freezing. <laughs> Brain freeze. <laughs> Look at that face. <laughs> He's like, like turning to her like, uh, You <laughs> did it, Paige. You did a good job. You want to try good one more job. time? Build softly. Oh, really? Look, he's like, okay, I think I want some. Is he getting it? Hold it up like that so we can get some. A little bit higher. Yeah. Is it going? Is he's it refreshing, it. bud? Should be. <laughs> he's Walk drinking straight it. Straight from the fridge. <laughs> nice and chilly. <laughs> hey, he's drinking it. Who cares? That's, not gonna, that's fine, right? <laughs> you are definitely a mollus. You don't care if it's hot or cold. Just let it nutrition. Is it okay? Provide nutrition to my body. It will hurt him. It warms up by the time it, it doesn't give him gas or anything more so. I don't think that so. is that is it, the pinnacle of a mollus gene well, we right there. We don't care what temperature our food is. <laughs> yeah, straight right from the fridge. fridge. <laughs> Leftovers. Just, just give me protein. That's so nice. You did a great job, Mike Page. Okay. Wonderful. Look at baby, he's awake because he loves you so much. <laughs> Micah wrote Lucas's name for you. <laughs> Good job covering your face. Good job. Look, gentle. I think Whoop, that might be too rough. I think he's looking for his milk again. Do you want to try it one more time? Look, he's reaching for it. He's like, where is my milk? And tilt it up like that. Here, you do it. You got it? There, you got it. Good job, Paige. You're doing a good job. Let's you see if he can get it. You are a wonderful big sister. Now, Did you know he's that? getting it. Look at that. He's taking it for sure now. Look at that. He's thirsty, hungry, whatever it is. He's loving that. Look at that smile. No. Fast forward a couple days, you guys. I think you saw him get his first bottle. And also Paige held him for the first time. We got that on camera. She was, like, not eager to do it. And then she finally came around to it. But lots of snuggles since then. He's I'm so a little sweet. baby boy. He's so little, I can't even believe it. Even um, after regrowing, he's still like, what, 6'10"? 6'11". He's probably a little bit more now since it's been, what, three, four days since uh, you mm -hmm. guys last saw us on this this vlog. Saw a little bit of that, a little bit of that red shining through oh, in did the you? sunlight, yeah. It's hard to capture on camera. It is, but I think like, I got it. Just it just looks like a dirty brown. But no, it's you can see some of the red right it's now. It's definitely a little strawberry blonde. A little strawberry in there. <sighs> but as far as everything is going with Lucas, um, one of the nurses actually was listening, doing his like overall checks, and she noticed that his heart sounded a little bit stronger on the opposite side than it normally does. So your heart is 
is like rotated to your left side and that's where you can hear it stronger. She noticed that it was a little bit stronger on the other side. Um, and so his pediatrician said, yeah, let's do an, a chest x-ray just to know what we're, what we're dealing with. Um, and sure enough, Lucas's heart is slightly turned in the opposite way. So well, it doesn't, we don't know the severity of how much it is turned. I know. I, that's okay. why I said slightly. <laughs> like we, we can't, you can't tell just based on the x-ray really how much it is turned. Um, but it doesn't lie where a heart normally does. Um, it's called dextrocardia and by itself, no complications, like totally fine. Um, all of his other organs seem to be in the right spot to this point. He doesn't seem like he's having any complications, uh, whatsoever. However, due to that abnormality, which is like one in 12,000, um, we are getting him a, an echo, um, and just like looking into it a little bit further, just to rule out um, anything else. Hopefully that is what they find is that they can just rule out anything else. And he simply has a slightly rotated heart. Um, so we have that appointment coming up. <sighs> I'd be lying if I said I wasn't stressing about it at all, um, but he seems to be doing just fine. Well, part of like, the reason why she's stressing is because the doctor said by itself, no complications, no complications but it can be a sign of other things yeah. which can cause issues. We don't know what those things are, though. So that's well, where the echo kind of comes into yeah. play, right? Yeah. With the echo, they'll be able to go in and really take a close look at all of his like heart chambers, valves, everything. Good news is, though, that even though his heart is rotated a little bit, his... Um, what do you... My, my brain. My brain doesn't work. The arteries and... The things that come out of your heart, those tubey things that come out of your heart, they are all still going What's in. What's the big one called? A aorta. Aorta. Aorta, I think. Aorta and all the other tubes. All Man, the tubey things. You'd, you'd, <laughs> guess, you'd never guess that we <laughs> uh, came That from I a... come from a medical family. <laughs> those all seem to be going in the correct ways, which is a really good sign. Um, but, yeah, you know, just a little, a little bit stressing over here it's hard to stress too much though because he is doing so good and this first week has been so amazing and so beautiful and i feel like because i'm feeling so good i feel like i can fully enjoy him mm -hmm. and take care of him and i have not been able to do that with my previous two pregnancies and i feel like i've done my girls a disservice because i hadn't figured out my body and myself when i gave birth to them and granted like you can't always choose if you're going to tear or not. I did not tear this time and with them I tore and that put me in a, a whole different mindset and world of pain in some instances but it's you been hear wonderful. That, Lucas? You're been a wonderful. favorite. That's not what I Mom said. said. Mom said you're the favorite. <laughs> don't even don't even start putting those ideas into our kids' heads. There's no favorite. I'm just kidding. But we just kind of wanted to touch base. I know we we didn't finish the vlog that day, so we wanted to properly finish it. Um, that's what's going on. We've got his appointment coming up soon. Uh, hopefully, you get some some good news on that. And the girls are adjusting really well, you guys. You saw Paige feeding him. Um, overall, they absolutely love, love, love him. There's a little bit of jealousy here and there, um, big emotions at times, but overall, everybody is transitioning well and really can't complain. Once we start adding more work back in, into our schedule, though, I'm sure it's gonna get a little bit crazier, a little bit a little more bit difficult, chaotic. a little bit more difficult to, to manage, but we'll figure it out, you know, you just, you, you, Take it as it comes and you figure it out. But it's been a wonderful, wonderful week slash, yeah, week. It's been like it's a been week and a day. Today. But it's been wonderful. Thank you guys for watching and uh, I hope you're enjoying this little guy as much as we are. Probably not because it's only on camera rather than in real life. <laughs> but thank you guys again and we will see you next time. Bye, Bye friends. friends. Love you.